Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another Goat 3 Simulator Guide. And this time I will be showing you how to get the Synchronization Complete Achievement. And this is basically for synchronizing with all the Goat Towers and grabbing the Shrines. Now for the achievement you don't actually have to grab the Shrines, but I'll show you anyway, uh, just to get all 7 out of 7 so you can get the ultimate 100% if you so choose. But basically with this one then... Um, a guide may not necessarily be needed, only because you can already see them on the map. Um, so all you have to do is just go to them, press the white button to synchronize with them, and, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And then the shrine, of course, will appear on the map as well. But, you know, just in case, I'll, uh, well, we'll, I'll let you know, we'll see. So at the very beginning then, here is going to be the first one. This is as soon as you get off the Skyrim cart. So press and hold the Y button there to synchronize it. And then, of course, obviously what that does then is show the whole map of the, well, of the particular area. So for this one, once we've done this, it will show the Fairweather Ranch and obviously all the events and everything that is uh, needing doing. Uh, but with this particular Goat Tower, which they are not on other ones, it's basically a big secret entrance in which we have to complete by interacting with all goat towers and shrines. That's why I'm showing the shrines. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Jesus. Right, so what we're going to do then is actually head in. Again, the other goat towers we're not going to bother heading in. It's only this one. Stand on this. <laughs> go eat slugs. <laughs> well, gladly. I guess I'll go fudge my chef. So once you stood on there then, the door opens up. The barers will bar. Right, so once that's opened, we're going to head behind. Try not to burn your ass on fire, of course. And simply stand on the one glowing uh, the button, or whatever that is, the circle of death. Press the white button to receive the reward. And the first chain will undo. <clears throat> and again, like I said, once we've got all the goat towers and shrines, we can come back here. Smash all of them out for a little secret surprise. Surprise! So, uh, okay, that's not the surprise. Don't worry about that. That's all grandy. Uh, he just, uh, uh, he's just um, helping us clean it up. So, appreciato, motherfuckato. <clears throat> right, here then is the first shrine. Uh, it's literally right in the middle of the, uh, basically uh, on the right hand side of the room. And we will get the first achievement there, Forgotten Sorority, and plus getting the first shrine as well. Reach F tier. So obviously, the more the more things you do in the game, the more money you get, the more tiers you go up. So, uh, the Instinct Shrine then is just to the left of the, um, uh, of just to, to the left of the Goat Tower. Again, it'll be on your screen anyway, it'll be on your maps. So, press and hold the white button there to get some more delicious monos. Next up is going to be the second area then, and it's going to be just above the cemetery, uh, quite close to it. The Broom Hill Cemetery. And it's, uh, there's, there's nothing fancy that you have to do here, it's literally basically just in the middle of the way. So again, just do the same thing here, press the white button to synchronize. And the Instinct Shrine is literally not too far away. In fact, if we open up the map right now, we are in Sverige right now, and it is literally just just to the back of us. So it's facing our rear end. So it's you smelling like the goat end rears, the rear end of goat, I meant. We'll just head for that. So again, of course, I mean, I'm, apparently I'm doing this the bloody hard way, but just head to the Instinct Shrine, and there it is then. Absorb the wisdom. I wish it was that easy in all fairness. Right, so the next one then is going to be for Mornwood Falls. We should now be on three out of seven instinct shrines. Now again, it, it doesn't matter. You can just go ahead and do all of these if you so wish. Or what I done was... Now again, for this one by the way, you do have to do some climbing. 
up some steps and everything, so it's not too bad. Just a bit of climbing up some stairs, and that is fine. Um, but again, if you were wondering how I sort of went about this game, again, it's completely up to you. You can just go ahead, go to each area, unlock the goat towers, and job done. What I ended up doing was getting a goat, getting the goat tower, getting all ramps that were available in the area, mainly to get the uh, daredevil helmet so we can fly wherever we want, and then getting the missable achievements, and then moving on in that particular area. But again, that's just how I play it. You can play it however, of course, that you wish. So this is the third goat tower then. And the uh, instinct shrine is just behind us. It was just behind us. We'll uh, just take a little cheeky quick look on the map. So where the goat tower is then, it is literally just to the top right of it. So uh, yeah, pretty simple stuff, yeah. And apparently my banana has a flower on it. Please don't deflower me, oh my gosh. Don't deflower my banana. Whoever's making love to a banana, you're sick, you need help. So, drop down, <laughs> absorb the wisdom. Don't make love to bananas, unless you're gonna pay me some money. I'm just joking, of course. <laughs> yeah. So, four out of seven instinct shrines that should be. So next up then, we are going to the sort of left corner now. And we are going for downtown. And there it is. And again, you've got to just, um, it, it's by the river. It, it's by a river. It, it, it's not too bad to climb up. You've just got to bounce up a couple of things uh, close to the shops. But this one, again, is not too bad. This instinct shrine now, however, is a little bit more complicated. So right in the sort of big main building, right in the middle there of downtown, uh, sort of just down to the bottom right, uh, you need to go to this culture shop. So the shop here is called culture. Now what you're supposed to do, this may be easier if you're a goat, but you're supposed to climb up, jump up on the old uh, bouncy bounce, 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 uh, jump up onto this little water tower thing and again climb up. We're going to grind our way up and then immediately jump off here and go to the right. Don't get hit by the fans, otherwise you'll be going all the way down. Climb up this little tiny, tiny piece of plank. Climb all the way up. And this is where the shrine is, or the wisdom shrine. I wonder who's actually putting these shrines up on top of their roofs, just in case, huh? Ah, who knows? Anyway, that's five out of seven done. And now we can go to the next one, which is Goat-topia, or Goat something or other. And it's basically just to the right of downtown right there. Go, go Nerpia, go Burnia. Anyway, have a look at this retail space for lease in this sort of particular area. Now what we could do is just bounce up. Bounce up the old bounce and bounce and house and trousen. Uh, keep going for a good bounce until we can... Oh, almost. There we go. Right, so you should be able to bounce up just enough... Just to get up. There is another way to get up here, but it is a little bit more complicated with a little bit more climbing. Uh, so if you just want to bounce about five or six times, you can jump up here, grab the old synchronization house and trousers, and that's the next one turn. Luckily, this instinct tower is uh, the instinct shrine isn't as complicated there, so uh, you do have to travel a little bit, sort of just to the right of Capricana Beach in the sort of in the bottom right-hand corner of the square there. Uh, and you're going to see these two little shacks, or this one little shack. Well, well toilets they are. Uh, go into the right-hand side one, and the shrine is right there. I say shacks. It's uh, it's the old piss bag, the old rootin' tootin' poopin' machine. Right, that's the 6th and the 7th one, and the final one then is in the left-hand side of the map, the L Libertarian Island. And it's going to be just on a couple of mounty, uh, it's going to be on a couple of rocky, mounty, rocky rocks. Uh, yes. I said what I said. So there it is then, just up there. So all we're going to do, when we get to this area, we're going to climb up onto the fan, Scablamo Marge, and simply drop down and synchronize the crap out of it.
Now that will get you the synchronization complete achievement, but of course we do have one more instant shrine that we're gonna get. And I can't just leave you here like that, can I? <laughs> Hell nah, dog. No. I'm not like that. I'm a good guide maker, I hope. If I'm not, well, please hate on me. But don't cancel me, please. Right, so it's literally just a bit further down then, uh, just to the opposite side of where the Go Tower is. Gonna be on some more rocky out crops. Uh, you can see the statue libertarian sign just to the left as we drove past, or went past, and just by these hippies, or these campers. There is the seventh and final one, and that one is complete, seven out of seven. Job done, so thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. See you in the next Goat Sim Guide. Big love!